to all my family what's good to all my friends this is your brother jehoshaphat peace and blessings be upon you all happy monday father god he is a great god he is a mighty god he is a loyal god he is a joy he's a he's a righteous god he is a god that is worth your praise he is the only god you know what i'm saying he's the only god and i love the father for what he does for all of us Big up shots to big brother Jesus, King Jesus. You know what I'm saying? I got to have my Jesus in my life. If I didn't have Jesus in this life, I would be cold. I would be dark. I would be manipulative. I would just be wrong in every way, every, every shape, form of fashion. Because if you're not trying to chase after Jesus, you are a funky, foul person, period. I don't care what you think. I don't care what you say. It's good people out there that be, that don't believe in Jesus, but be, because they don't believe in Jesus, they are in the wrong. So to me, they still funky and they still foul because they don't have the Lord in their life. You don't have to believe me. You don't have to like it. You don't have to agree with me. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. I said it. Deal with it. Now, check this out, family. Got a little bit of things on the, the plate. I hope your Sabbath was good, family. I took. I hope you took that time to respect your father in every shape, form, or fashion of the things that he is asking of you since he's asking so much from all of us on the individual level. He is asking for his respect. He is asking for his honor. He is asking for you to honor him on his day and you know everything that pertains in that day that you must do to please the father. It is a holy day, but I hope y'all, man, I hope y'all took that time to be at peace and be with your family get the good word of god inside of you and be respectful to your father and had a good blessed weekend it's monday y'all we back we at the beginning of this we're gonna have a strong week we got a week i don't even know what we're gonna be talking about this week but it, you know how god does me for some reason we, so we're gonna have a lot of issues we're gonna have some good conversation for this week in jesus christ's name he he said it you know what i'm saying i'm asking for it. that's why i try to tell my family out there i don't even know what i'm gonna be talking about until god brings it to me to allow me to talk about these things y'all sit back and y'all think that 90 percent of this comes from me i am not that gifted like that it's only because of the father that you stay tuned that you want to listen that you want to require and check out these things to be the truth on your own self it's only because of god that you pay attention to me if i did not have god in my life there's a thousand negroes there's a million negroes you know what i'm saying only reason why you pay attention is because God in my life. Now, the topic for today is, and some people would say just by me labeling this, oh, fat, you're being racist. You're so racist. Why you got to say those things? But I have learned, I have learned through this weekend that racist people, they don't like talking about American history. They don't. For me to openly say, to a racist white person I love being black he would take that as he would take offense to this just by me saying I'm proud to be black he would take offense to this so don't let me start talking about historical events that happen in this country they get offended I'm not gonna be offended of America's dark history and if anybody should be mad over the issue it should be black people of America my people what's good y'all it should be us but we're open to have an open dialect and you still got people that want to act like they're babies when will they grow up and have a decent conversation about it they're not even willing to do that they want to they want to sit here and act like we're in the third grade and we're arguing over color, color crayons and papers and markers and something that was written on the chalkboard that's how they act they act they get offended why are you so offended talking about things that took place in this country why are you offended to see black people proud of who they are or what they are and they place in this world that god has given them why are you so upset at this that's the sign of a racist I don't care if you can hide behind your name, Sean Hannity, all these people you see on Fox and the CBS and all the news. They love running and they love acting like cowards and they love to start throwing an argument over the obvious of things that actually happen. So it blows my mind, family, to see that it's certain people in this world, they get offended of you being who and what you are, what God has blessed you to be. It utterly blows my mind family but the discussion for today is who is more superior white or black people who is more superior now i'm gonna i'm gonna shit on 
I'm going to shit on everybody way of thinking for like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? By all facts. Everything I'm going to say to you is a fact. I didn't make these facts up. People did the research. You can check in them if you want to. It's on you. But white supremacists, ism people, they teach their people that they are superior to every person in this world. Now, my people are superior because everybody originated from Adam and Eve. Everybody has their origins in Africa. Everybody come from the same lineage of two people, the first people who were ever made on this earth. And black folk, we are directly descended from these people. Now, what makes us superior? Now, it's about, is it two out of five? It's two out of five. Two out of five of every white people have black in them. From either from either the slave masters raping our ancestors, that's why they have it, or it was given up to them freely. But it's a lot of white people. Two is it two fifths? It's two fifths of every white person in America. It could be more than that, family. It could be more than that. But two fifths of every white person that you see have black in them, have black descendants in them. You know what I'm saying? They're not claiming us. They don't claim to be black and they don't even look black. They look white. They look Caucasian. They look European. But they could be 30% black. They could be 45% black, 48%. They got a whole lot of black inside of them. But unless you a white person, they got black in you, you you will be still on on our level because you got our descendants you got our our people in you you got our our dna right so if you black if you white and you got black descendant in you you can have a black child i have seen it proven i have seen it done i have seen it it might be one of one in a million one in 30 million out, out of them but i have seen two white people come together and have a black child because both of them people got black in them. Not all white people can do that. You know what I'm saying? Black people, we can have white babies. You know what I'm saying? We can have we can have a child that looks blonde hair and blue eyes because it is in our genetics, not because of slavery and because of the other DNA that was put in us because of all the rape of our women. Mm -mm. We was doing this way before them. I'll give you an example. Uh, people who are, uh, what's the names of them? They real light-skinned black people. They uh albinos. That's my that that is my example right there. Black people have had albino children from the dawn of the ages. So black people are capable of having everybody else, but there is no one in this world that is capable of having black people. That makes us superior on a DNA. Just using common. This is just common sense, y'all. This is you see how I'm destroying Darwinism and all of their beliefs with just common sense and common knowledge in less than five minutes. But black people are superior on the fact that we were the first people in every type of person. I don't care what country you live in. I don't care what uh, how far away you live in, what, what speech you are, how much melanin you got in your skin. I don't care. You came from black people. That makes us superior. There is no race of people that can, can produce black people. Russians cannot produce black people, but black people can produce white people. Asian people cannot produce black people. We the only people that everybody comes from. That makes us superior to all races. Now, me as your brother Fat Boy Fish, I know this, and you don't see me telling my people, oh, we superior to the white man, so we should look at him down and look down at him. Mm -mm. You don't get no, no foolishness. That would be foolish right there. My father is a respecter of all men, of all people. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hear me saying this all the time. So you don't get black people preaching we're superior to all other races. Only whiteism, only white supremacists do that. They're the only race of people on this face of this earth that feel that they're better than everybody in from a genetic standpoint, you are not. You are not because there is no way that you can even manufacture melanin in your skin unless you get some type of injections or something. And that's some real talk for you. So you don't get no hatred. You don't get me telling my people that we need to look down at y'all and we need to naturally hate y'all and we need to put y'all down mm -mm. on my channel. Of the way of the man that I am, I preach love, I preach tolerance, I preach respect of all people.
I'm not no white supremacist sitting up over here telling you to hate black black people and Mexicans and Asians and Arabians. We don't even play that game because our father, the true God, stands for what he stands for. And I believe in anything that he wants from me. I don't care what it is. You know what I'm saying? I don't care what it is. I'm not fit to be fighting against God in my life no more. I'm not doing that. I'm not fit to go against the grain. And he is the grain. You go against the grain, you're going to get cut. You're going to get hurt. And you're going to be in some bad shape. So for the intermission topic for today, we talked about it. Black people are superior. We are. But I don't preach it. And if you were to preach that your race of people are superior to anybody on this world, you will be a bigot. You will be a racist. And you will be some type of supremacist. I am not a black supremacist. Even though I speak on black love, black pride, black, just by me telling black people to love other black people, some racist people are offended just because of that cost. Just because I preach black pride, black love, black tolerance, black, black people uniting, coming together. They see that as a problem. They see that as an issue. So for the good white folks out there, because it's a lot of them, it's a good, it's a lot of good white folks out there that does not believe in white supremacy, white ism. They don't. They see things for how we see things. I just wish that they would speak up more on the behalf of their brothers. I really do. I wish that they would speak up and they would say more and they would fight this fight because we got to fight this, y'all. We got to fight this. So. And I had so much to say. I really did. Your brother was writing. Your brother was writing how he felt about the world yesterday. You know what I'm saying? As long as heck. But it's all the truth. But I don't I don't practice hatred towards nobody. Even though my people are uh, superior to every known man on this earth. Is I don't preach it. I don't I, you don't see me here sitting there telling, oh, you need to. Oh, they oh, oh, they lesser than us. We better than them. We do this. We bet we we this. We that we this. We that. I don't even get down like that. I don't because I don't look at people like that. How could I look at a person like that when I know everybody has a chance to make it into heaven? Everybody, no matter who you are, if you believe in the father. So I look at a lot of the white isms, white supremacists, and I, and I think to myself, you pick up that Bible and you have turned this Bible into so much hatred. Now you have spread this throughout the whole world, not just here in America, not not just in in, in Africa, but all over this whole world. All of this hatred directed towards my people, but we're not supposed to say nothing about it. Mm -mm. That's already doing too much. We're supposed to agree with it. Mm hmm. We supposed to acknowledge it and like it. Mm hmm. That's what that's what you're asking of us. We would never do this. I would never do that. You know what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't. I'm not going to feel that I'm better than you or that you better than me. It's no way in hell that there is anybody in this world. I don't care how much money you got. I don't care how many matches you got. You still going to die and you can't take none of that with you. So what can you really say that you left here on this earth? But a game. Of misery and pain that you forced on somebody to to gather your riches which you was so uh money hunger to gain you know what i'm saying ill-gotten gains you know what i'm saying what can you possibly say if you could be better than somebody else you know what i'm saying you still have a choice to believe in god or go to hell one or the other you know what i'm saying you, you got that choice now me the lord he didn't put it in my heart to, to demonstrate hatred through the gifts that he has given me. He has not done that. The, uh, Jesus never intended for nobody to hate on nobody, but we're going to talk about that on a later day. But I just want to hit this topic. So all you racist people out there, I want to hear your comments. What do you, what, how have I pissed you off in this day so bad that it's irritating at your soul that it's the truth? Now, your scientists have proven it to you by your own people rhetoric. And y'all, I get mad too, y'all. These same white ism people run around here talking about, oh, well, they're monkeys and, and they, and they this and they that. My people don't have no, no, no prehistoric um neanderthal genes in us we don't have recessive genes you know what i'm saying we don't have nothing like that so why would you call us monkeys when you're the one who got the monkey genes you know what i'm saying black folk ain't got no monkey genes y'all the ones who up over here got some monkey genes and it's been proven through facts so you can't say i'm sitting up here telling you a lie or picking on you it's been scientifically proven scientifically proven so I'm not even throwing that in your face. You know what I'm saying? You got recessive genes and you only got so much time before you got to get some new DNA in you before you all die. I'm not even saying all of that. 
I'm not even, it's not my people out here that's dying of recessive genes. I'm not even saying none of that. I'm, oh, we're, we're better than you because we don't got no caveman genes and y'all do. But why do racist people call us monkeys when y'all the ones who got monkey genes? That don't make no sense to me. So if you got to say anything about it, go ahead, comment, leave your f***ed up ass comments all you want. I want to know what you got to say. I want to know how you feel. It will never change no way of facts that's been proven. And if you want to do something to make this world, you talk about America need to be great so much. Well, won't you stop being so fucking racist and America would be great again. It would be for all people. But your hatred is the only thing that kills America and American people with your hatred. Black people, we don't sit up and we don't we don't think of names to call certain people. Only racist white people do that. And anybody that's offended with anything I'm saying, I don't give a damn because it is the truth. Maybe you need to uh, grow up. Maybe you need to put your big boy pants on. Maybe you need to think to put your thinking cap on. Maybe you need to clean out all that hatred and evil out your heart to accept things to be the truth. Now, you see this world that we in and it is a paradigm shift. We ain't having it. We're not putting up with it. And you're going to have to make a change for the future. You're going to have to clean up your racism. We don't need it. Oh, it's not racism. It's classism. Shut the hell, man. You people is something else. Y'all is something else. But racism is America's biggest problem. All of that hatred. American racism racism will be the reason why America be snuffed out and utterly destroyed. It's destroying itself from within. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to worry about you ain't got to worry about missions abroad and uh, enemies abroad. America is too busy killing themselves from the inside out. <laughs> but you want to be you want to be the, the, the model to every country and you can't even get your people to get along. And you you practice evils on black people still to this day that they suffer upon. But I'm wrong for saying, oh, fat, you're so wrong. You're a hypocrite. You're a racist. Am I? Am I a racist? Am I a hypocrite for stating the truth and the obvious? Once more again, my brothers and sisters, I'll let you be the judge of that. But peace and blessings to all my people out there in the world. This is the intermission for the day. Hopefully we can come back with the show. Peace and blessings to all my brothers. I hope you all having a good Monday. Yes, I do. Day, night, or evening. I hope you're having a good Monday. Get some rest, people. Peace and blessings to all my brothers and sisters out there in the world.